Why did you kill him? Well, he was gonna kill me. So you were scared and that's the only reason? Yeah. I don't reward my Do you want me to change the subject? You know what I expected? Applause. <laughs> when I was only 20 years old then, I couldn't see how I would look to people. I was surprised by what happened. They didn't applaud. <laughs> <laughs> he was ashamed of his boasting, his pretensions of courage and ruthlessness. He was sorry about his cold-bloodedness, his dispassion, his inability to express what he now believed was the case. That he truly regretted killing Jesse. That he missed the man as much as anybody and wished his murder hadn't been necessary. Even as he circulated his saloon, he knew that the smiles disappeared when he passed by. He received so many menacing letters that he could read them without any reaction except curiosity. He kept to his apartment all day, flipping over playing cards, looking at his destiny in every king and jack. Edward O'Kelly came up from Bachelor at 1 p.m. on the 8th. He had no grand scheme, no strategy, no agreement with higher authorities, nothing beyond a vague longing for glory and a generalized wish for revenge against Robert Ford. Edward O'Kelly would be ordered to serve a life sentence in the Colorado Penitentiary for second-degree murder. Over 7,000 signatures would eventually be gathered on a petition asking for Kelly's release. And in 1902, Governor James B. Orman would pardon the man. Should be wearing that stick pin again there, Bob. Opals are unlucky. Well, it's not very good as it is, Marty. I don't think an opal's going to change that much. There would be no eulogies for Bob. No photographs of his body would be sold in sundry stores. No people would crowd the streets in the rain to see his funeral cortege. No biographies would be written about him. No children named after him. No one would ever pay 25 cents to stand in the rooms he grew up in. Hello, Bob. The shotgun would ignite, and LMA would scream. But Robert Ford would only lay on the floor and look at the ceiling, the light going out of his eyes, before he could find the right words. <laughs> <laughs>